Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. Today we're going to draw another beetle. This time it's going to be a, um, it's a beetle called a caterpillar hunter. Sounds pretty dangerous if you're a caterpillar. Start with a shape like this. I like drawing beetles because there are usually a couple things about them that I like. One, they're sort of geometric shapes are fairly easy, and they're usually the same on both sides, balanced on both sides, symmetrical. That means they're the same on both sides. So like what happens on this side happens on the other side. So if I like divide the beetle in half, they match that way. Okay, so so far, I've got the abdomen. Now I'm going to do thorax and then the head on this thing, ooh, it's kind of scary. The head on this thing kind of comes down. It's a big old bulgy eye here and a bulgy eye over on that side. A couple of really big pinchers on the front. Modified mouth parts. Now as far as legs, it's the beginning of a leg there. Here. And here. On the other side, you see kind of a lid coming down here, just a little bit, because it's on the other side. A little harder to see. The leg kind of this way. I like that. Now, what's fun about this particular beetle is around the outside of the perimeter, it seems to have sort of an edge that's kind of fun. And inside of that, Let's bring this down to the point it kind of comes down to. Inside of that, it has lines that go front to back, front to back. Go ahead and darken up the different parts. Thorax, head, abdomen. You're going to see that in front of his eyes, it's going to have an antenna sort of go like this. And on the other side, it comes out a couple segments, kind of comes back like this. I'm going to darken things up a little bit. Now, Around here is also sort of a frame or an edge. Make these legs darker too. OK, 
caterpillar hunter. Now, he's got a green cast to him. So I'm thinking that green plus light green. When you have two greens or two of one color that are similar but different, we call them analogous colors. These three colors together can be analogous colors, and they can be really good for shading. So first let's do the highlights, the lightest part of the green. A little bit of a highlight here and there. I'm going to go in with this second green. I'm going to kind of do an edge on the highlight we've already done. I'm going to go in with that third green. I'm going to really Now we got some variation, so it's not all the same color in green. Okay, now as far as, as other areas go, the dark purple or black might be nice. Add just a little bit of an indication of red or orange around the outside. It's a this is a beautiful bug. If bugs can be beautiful, it's about as beautiful as he can be. It's a caterpillar hunter. Insect. Insects have how many legs? <coughs> Six legs, right? They have segmented bodies with a head, abdomen, a head, abdomen, a thorax, all right, three parts. They have their skeleton on the outside, which is an exoskeleton, and let's give him a little bit of an environment. So let's sort of make him crawling on the edge of something. And I'm just going to kind of ease this over so I don't mess it up. Have some lines that go through. And then I can sort of add a little shadow here. It sort of shows that he's casting or she's casting a shadow down here. Okay. And that is our caterpillar hunter. See you next time.